Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is report writing in the research methodology. Report writing. Report writing is the final step of the research process, where the researcher presents their findings, conclusions, and recommendations based on the data collected and analyzed. The purpose of a research report is to communicate the results of the research project to a specific audience in a clear, concise, and comprehensive manner. A good research report should have the following components. Title page. The title page should provide a clear and concise description of the research project and should be easily readable. In addition to the title, the author's name, and the date of submission, the title page may also include the name of the institution or organization where the research was conducted, the funding source for the project, and the corresponding author's contact information. Abstract The abstract should provide a brief overview of the research project, including the background, objectives, methods, results, and conclusions. It should be concise and well-written, providing a clear and concise summary of the research project for those who are unfamiliar with the study. The abstract should also highlight the significance of the study and why it is important. Introduction The introduction should provide background information on the research topic and explain why the study is important. It should also describe the research question and objectives, and provide a brief overview of the methods and results. The introduction should be well structured and well written, engaging the reader and motivating them to read the rest of the report. Methodology The methodology section should provide a detailed description of the research design, sample size, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques used. It should be written in a clear and concise manner, providing enough detail for others to replicate the study if needed. The methodology should also describe any ethical considerations or limitations of the study. Results The results section should present the findings of the research project, including any tables, graphs, and other visual aids to help illustrate the data. The results should be presented in a clear and concise manner, and should be organized in a logical order that supports the discussion of the findings. The results should be presented objectively, without interpretation, and should be accompanied by relevant statistical analyses. Discussion The discussion section should interpret the results of the research project, connecting the findings to the research question and objectives. It should also provide a critical evaluation of the results, discussing the strengths and limitations of the study, and addressing any unexpected results. The discussion should also consider the implications of the findings, highlighting their significance and potential applications. Conclusions The conclusions section should summarize the main results of the research project and discuss the implications of the findings. It should also highlight the strengths and limitations of the study, and provide suggestions for future research. The conclusions should be supported by the results and the discussion, and should be presented in a clear and concise manner. Recommendations The recommendations section should provide suggestions for further research or actions based on the results of the study. This could include recommendations for future studies, policy changes, or other actions based on the results. The recommendations should be specific, practical, and supported by the results and the discussion. References The references section should include a list of sources used in the research project, including academic articles, books, and other relevant materials. The references should be listed in alphabetical order, and should include all relevant information, such as the author, title, publication year, and publication details. Appendices The appendices section should include additional information that supports the research report, such as raw data, interview transcripts, or other supporting material. The appendices should be well organized, and should be labeled and numbered appropriately. The appendices should only include material that is necessary to support the report, and should be kept to a minimum. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates. Thank you.